I live in South Florida and today we're in the Keys for low tide, so let's go see what we can find. Look how dreamy the water is. Here's a cute little violet sea snail. A great egret was eyeing me up, but she decided I wasn't too interesting and flew away. This is a partridge ton. I thought the shell was empty, but then a cute little hermit crab popped out to say hi. He was kind of shy. This shell was way too big for him, but he'll grow into it. Let's put you back in the water, buddy. Do you know what this blob here is? Let's dunk the phone and take a closer look. It's a spotted sea hare. I really think they look like rhinos. There were so many queen conchs in this area. The sun was starting to set and this is what it looked like as far as the eye can see. And just wait, it only gets better. This is literal heaven. Check out those views, I'm so happy. But now back to the search. Here's a true tulip snail. I love their shells. Here's a hermit crab inside a conch shell. The conchs were absolutely everywhere. They really blend in with the sand. Can you see that one right there by my foot? And if you've never seen a live conch before, this is what they look like. This one was checking me out. They have the coolest eyeballs. I think she wants to have a staring contest. Here's another hermit crab. This one's living in a king's crown conch. I love seeing hermit crabs in the wild. Guys, would you look at that sunset? I never want to leave this spot. Here's another true tulip with an even prettier shell than the last one. And look, another sea hare. Those long projections coming from the top of their head are called rhinophores, and they function as their sense of smell. The sky is getting more and more stunning with every second. The keys seriously have the best sunsets. This true tulip shell just might be my favorite of the night. The sky has officially turned into cotton candy, and it's time for me to head home. Thanks for joining on my walk. I'll see you next time I'm by the water.